Good morning. Today we are going to look at Bank Manager in Sage Evolution. The purpose of Bank Manager is to download your bank statement from the bank and import it directly into your cash book without capturing line by line. One very important thing what you need to remember is the bank or the cash book in this case needs to be clean. There must be no transactions inside the cash book before you can use Bank Manager. Now I opened one of the cash books. I can, I'm just going to close it again to show you. There's a lot of bank, uh, cash books on this company. So we're just going to open the one that I need, need for bank manager. At the top, you will find the bank manager icon. Click on the bank manager icon. The next screen that's going to pop up is to ask you which type of bank we are going to use, there's a list of all the banks what you can import into Evolution. I'm going to use standardbank.csv, that is the layout that I downloaded from Standard Bank. Statement file, this is where you save the downloaded file from your bank. Click on it and you click on open. And you click on OK. The first screen is just going to give you what happened through the year or the month in this case with this bank. This is now a new bank, so we're just going to click on continue. This is how the bank manager screen look like. At the top left hand side, you will find three tabs. The one gives you a list of all the payments that, that went through your bank. There's also a receipt tab and all. To make it easier, rather use payment separately and receipts because then you know the difference between the two. At the top, you will find a few icons. The top one is the top left one is close. There's, you can also import it via Excel, but we already done that. You can save the changes. You can revert the changes. So if you make any changes on the screen, you can revert and it will put it back as default. Submit. This is the button that you will click when you want to submit it into your cash book. You will see there are two options. You can do payments only or you can receipt only. If you want to do both, you will click on the word submit. You can also add mapping. Things that appear every, every month, you can actually add a mapping. So next month when you import the bank statement, it will automatically populate into that account, which I will also show to you just now. You can also configure mappings. All the mappings that you set up through the year, you can export in Excel, make some changes, and import it back into the system. And then there's also your summary. It's exactly the same screen that popped up the first time when we opened Bank Manager. There's also export. You can export it back into Excel if you want somebody to double check if it's correct. And then you can import it back into the Bank Manager screen. So let's make some changes. Currently, I'm in the payment screen. You will see you've got a date column, the period, the issue statement description, and then you will find the word module and account. This is where you're going to start. You have to classify to which payment you're going to populate this. So in under module, you have general ledger, if it's a general ledger transaction, and we're going to work with accounts receivable and accounts payable. I'm in the payment tab, so it can either be a general ledger account or a accounts payable account. Click on accounts payable. Under account, you have to select the supplier that you want to pay. I'm just going to select this one. Internet payment. So if you, for example, pick up that and you know every time when you see this des description, it must go to the supplier, careful courier, then you can add it as a mapping. So next month, it will automatically populate into that account. To add mapping, you go to add mapping. The bank, uh, the screen will search for the description. But you can change the ledger description, what you want to see on your cash book reports. I'm going to type in the word payment. And we click on save. 
Next time when I import the bank statement, it will automatically go to that specific account. If we are finished with the whole cash book, you will click on Submit Payment Batch because I only want to submit the payments. And now we're currently in the cash book. All the transactions will populate into your cash book. What's nice about this screen, you can still make some changes if you made a mistake on the bank manager screen. When you're done, you continue as normal. You save, do your bank reconciliation. When everything is correct, you post the batch.